It doesn't matter if you were blessed with the charisma of Muhammad Ali or the natural wit of Chael Sonnen. If you come up against a truly bulletproof mindset, your trash talk is never going to be enough. And that's exactly what Conor McGregor learned during the build-up and immediate aftermath of his UFC 229 clash with the great Habib Nurmagomedov. But why did Conor's unique brand of mental warfare fall flat on its face? Well, let's take a dive in and find out. When Conor McGregor burst onto the MMA scene back in 2013, he joined the UFC with a pair of Cage Warriors titles on his shoulders. With a left hand nearly as quick as his sharp tongue, he rose to the top of the featherweight division, leaving a trail of defeated opponents in his wake. But despite being able to mentally wear on the likes of Dustin Poirier, Jose Aldo, and Chad Mendez, the Notorious would eventually come face to face with a man who simply would not fold under the pressure. Sure, the Nate Diaz fights gave us a mental match for Connor, but we'd argue that Habib was just on another level. Nurmagomedov, a Dagestani wrestler with an unbeaten record of 26-0 at the time, was the perfect opposite to McGregor in every way. While Connor's upbringing in Dublin, Ireland was by no means a cakewalk, Habib was raised in the hills of Dagestan, where he was exposed to a culture of combat sports and a strong work ethic from a young age. His mentality was built on the principles of focus, discipline, and a deep sense of honor. Dagestan is a reason that has long been known for producing top-level combat athletes, with wrestling and combat sambo being the most popular disciplines. It's a region that was ravaged by war not too long ago, and the echoes of that trying time are still very much felt from those who are old enough to remember it. Habib started training at a very young age under the guidance of his father and coach, the local legend, Abdulmanap Nurmagomedov. His father instilled in him a strict adherence to a strong personal philosophy, as well as a deep respect for tradition and discipline. This upbringing provided Habib with the foundation he needed to become one of the most mentally strong fighters in the world. Habib's mentality is based on a combination of physical and mental fortitude. He is trained in wrestling and samba from an early age, and his conditioning for mixed martial arts over five rounds is legendary. He puts a pace on fighters that just shatters them. He is, of course, known primarily for his relentless grappling style, which he uses to wear down his opponents and break their will. And there's a level of confidence in that approach that really augments his performance on fight night. Habib knows you're worried about the takedown, and his opponents are always aware it's coming. In Dagestan, respect is a core value that is deeply ingrained in the culture. This respect is not only for one's opponents, but also for one's coaches, training partners, and elders. Habib's mentality is based on this principle of respect. He takes it from those around him and from his studies within his religion of Islam. But every shred of humility and poise in Habib's mentality was put to the test ahead of his fight against Conor McGregor at UFC 229. And the way these two bounced off one another, the ways in which they contrasted, yeah, it was pretty amazing to see play out. While McGregor was flashy and outspoken, Nurmagomedov was stoic and reserved. McGregor was a striker, while Nurmagomedov was a master of wrestling and grappling. Connor's pre-fight game was all about breaking his opponent mentally, but he would soon learn that Habib's mind was bulletproof. Even as he waved his proper 12 whiskey in his face and explained his preference for Habib's Chechen neighbors, Habib did little more than smirk in acknowledgement. Despite every attempt to provoke him, he remained calm and focused. Domination, his head bouncing off the canvas. All his pony talk is gonna be fucking put on blast October 6th refusing to engage in the mind games that McGregor was so famous for. McGregor had been taunting Habib in the lead up to the fight, insulting his family, religion, and country. Despite the intensity of these personal attacks, Habib's focus throughout the buildup would eventually translate into the perfect performance on fight night. In the weeks ahead of UFC 229, Conor McGregor's trash-talking game was in full force. The Irishman had a reputation for getting under his opponent's skin, using his quick wit and sharp tongue to rattle them before they even stepped into the octagon. However, in the case of Habib Nurmagomedov, McGregor's words fell flat. Sure, he managed to make a star of his manager, Ali Abdulaziz, 
and insult thousands upon thousands of the Eagles' countrymen in the process. But in the eyes of the one person he was actually trying to get to, this was all just excess noise. These taunts and insults simply bounced off of him, leaving the Russian nothing more than totally focused on the task at hand. You'll remember that famous press conference where Connor showed up late, as usual. Instead of playing into Connor's game by criticizing him, Habib simply stood up and walked off the stage, refusing to give McGregor any power over him. You'd be forgiven for thinking that a move like this would annoy the fans, driving down an opportunity to promote the pay-per-view. But funnily enough, the opposite happened. This quickly became the biggest fight in UFC history, a status it had already claimed by the time the night itself came around. Every short clip of back and forth words exchanged was a major viral hit. And although we didn't know for sure just yet, UFC 229 was about to smash every pay-per-view record in the history of the sport. When the two finally stepped into the octagon, it was clear that Nurmagomedov's approach was paying off. The dynamic had fully shifted. He was able to dominate McGregor from start to finish, knocking him down on the feet in the second round in what was a shocking turn of events. Like we said, Habib's opponents know the takedown is coming, and that really does mess with their ability to perform in the stand-up. Connor, for all his bravado, was unable to mount any significant offense beyond a decent round three. But by the time the final 10 minutes came, he was looking worse for wear and was ultimately forced to tap out in the fourth round. While McGregor's trash talk may not have affected Nurmagomedov's performance in the octagon, it certainly did contribute to the infamous post-fight brawl that erupted between the two camps. Following Nurmagomedov's victory, he leapt over the octagon and charged at McGregor's team, igniting a chaotic scene unlike anything we had ever seen in this sport. And that was a real insight into the type of guy Habib is. His professionalism and naturally stoic nature would not allow him to break his concentration prior to the fight. But once he had delivered the fourth round submission to retain his title, something else took over. And in that moment, all of those weeks upon weeks of trash talk finally made their impact. It just wasn't the impact that Connor had been aiming for. In many ways, Nurmagomedov's victory over McGregor was a turning point in the career of the Notorious, proving that not all fighters were doomed to sink under the pressure of the bright lights he attracts. And while McGregor's legacy has been somewhat tarnished in the years since his defeat to Nurmagomedov, Nurmagomedov's own legacy has only grown stronger. He retired from the sport in 2020 with a perfect record of 29-0, cementing his status as one of the greatest fighters of all time. And interestingly, he also became a major global superstar in the process, doing so in a way that relied not on trash talk and mind games, but on quiet confidence and unshakable belief. In many ways, Habib Nurmagomedov was the perfect foil to Conor McGregor, a fighter who embodied everything that McGregor was not. And while McGregor is still as big a star as ever, Nurmagomedov's legacy will continue to shine brighter in terms of his competitive achievements, a testament to the power of mental toughness in the world of combat sports. Despite his early success, it is becoming increasingly clear that McGregor's legacy is fading, and he is struggling to keep up with the elite ranks of MMA legends. In contrast, Habib Nurmagomedov has cemented his place among the greatest of all time. McGregor's recent record speaks for itself. He has won only three of his last seven fights, and his only victory since 2016 came over a soon-to-be-retired Donald Cerrone. His most recent defeat to Dustin Poirier once again showed a fighter overcoming any attempts to trash talk that Conor might have had. You'll of course remember that Dustin fell victim to that very same mental warfare seven years previously when, as a younger man, he was thoroughly embarrassed by Conor before and during the fight. But when the rematch came around, Poirier was an evolved specimen, and McGregor's inability to adapt to his opponent's game plan was a clear indication of his decline as a fighter. While McGregor's impressive record earlier in his career cannot be discounted, his recent struggles and lack of activity here have had a detrimental effect on his status in the GOAT conversation. There are simply too many other fighters with better records, more impressive accomplishments, and a more consistent level of performance. He's not done just yet, but it's a steep mountain to climb. Whether he can begin that climb with a win over the great Michael Chandler is anyone's guess. On the other hand, 
Habib Nurmagomedov has established himself as one of the greatest fighters in the history of MMA. His undefeated record of 29-0 speaks for itself, and his dominance in the lightweight division was unparalleled during his time in the sport. He has defeated some of the best fighters in the sport, including Conor McGregor, Dustin Poirier, and Justin Gaethje. In each of these fights, Habib was able to utilize his unique skill set and mental fortitude to control the pace of the fight and ultimately come out on top. And like Islam Makachev today, it's clear that these Dagestan fighters are just a level beyond the usual trash-talking weaknesses you generally see in the fight game. They have a confidence that can only come from experience, and when you come from a background of hard work and constant humility, spitting some harsh words into a microphone just won't be enough to get the job done.